the thought process. The path of decision is hopefully a get it right mission, making the thought process is not one of biased thinking. For one only has an instance with very little assistance when the distant outcome may be detrimental to living. When one is at point X, they don't know what to expect, for they have dreams to fulfil in these times of instant need, with perception being clouded by the wants and needs shrouded in a cloak of unreasoning, making the future one to heed. There are various factors that cause these mental reactors, love, finance, dreams, Situations of total hopelessness are contributing to the demise in how one should realise there is a bright side if one reaches for wholesomeness. This is where one needs a seer to allay that path of internal fear, a visionary with the prognostication of spiritual vaccination, one who has the sight to give one that path of foresight through the small window we peer to gain illumination. Along that pathway, there are too many potholes to save as one stares out to the future. One's focal point is in view. But as one treks that trail, the boundary seems so frail, for the hyper-anticipation previously has gone askew. Those dreams one has when growing to be mums and dads, making one's lifelong decisions, reaching for the heights, one's euphoria tolerates a load when in anticipation mode and the swelling of success and pride are full of delights. Although that exterior vision could hide a questioning derision in the mind of one who has fallen in a doubting, culpable fear, that mental loss comes at a cost, making one feel remotely lost when in the approaching hindsight light of a decision held dear. To the depths of despair, sinking without a hope or a care, are the glimpses the mind allows in that eclectic state, and, fall, and so forms confusion that evolves into fleeting exclusion, with the signals from some coming to others too late. This shines of a melancholy mood that makes one brood, over the foreboding hindsight that wasn't in the foresight, subjecting one to self-doubt, increasing the mental burnout, spiralling in the vortex of blue from the lack of tactical insight. Yet, with the facility of deduction, one should make a reduction in the thought processes that create this insipid illusion. For it's the exterior forces of fate one doesn't control, mate, and that is what transpires into the internal confusion. With this, then, one must deduce that when in mental use, to put hindsight before foresight, to gain a clear insight on the issues that one wishes and not to confuse. The understanding of living life by just doing right. Philip.